Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into my top seven worst NHL arenas of 2024. And just a little precursor, I'm not going to be including Mullet Arena, the current home of the Arizona Coyotes, because it is a college arena. It's a temporary home. It will not be included. But beginning at number seven, it is the Honda Center, the location Anaheim, California, Opening originally in 1993, this is the third oldest NHL arena, and it certainly shows its age with the exterior. Those windows have always been so ugly to me. It is, however, an interesting contrast with all of the palm trees, the tropical plants right up against an NHL arena. The interior of it is just quite frankly brutal. It's very bland when it comes to NHL interiors, especially interiors that were built in the late 90s to early 2000s they're gonna virtually all look relatively the same they're very boring there's nothing unique about them they've got a lower bowl sometimes they've got a smaller club section like this arena but the reason that this comes in on the worst arenas is because of the exterior windows i just think that's such an obsolete ugly design it is interesting because this arena very well could get a surrounding renovation to possibly turn it into some type of little entertainment district right next to it. There's been several different ideas and renderings within the past five or six years, and recently, a few weeks ago, they re I saw kickstarted talks to potentially get some type of renovation surrounding the arena, which is kind of surprising that they would dump money into the surrounding area. I guess the interior is not the worst in the world, but I do think this arena does have a very brutal exterior. Moving on to number six, it is going to be Ball Arena, home of the Colorado Avalanche, originally opening back in 1999. This is also the home to the Denver Nuggets, and I've always disliked this arena's interior upper deck design. It's just looks really out of place and bad and there, there's like kind of a lapse in the seats it, it kind of reminds me of like an MLB stadium upper deck it really does not suit an arena at all also the exterior of this arena leaves a lot to be desired so for me located in Denver Colorado I'm sure they could build definitely a state-of-the-art brand new one although they did just get a brand new jumbotron there the Nuggets recently hosted the finals here, but the interior is an obsolete design with a bigger upper deck and kind of a mid-size lower bowl with a club section. It's going to come in at number six for me. Moving on to number five, it is Rogers Arena in Vancouver, home of the Canucks, originally opening in 1995. It's getting up there in terms of age. It does have a very unique exterior right next to a highway. The interior, however, is brutally boring. It is just two bulls. There is not one special unique factor about it. Now, to be fair, this is like most NHL arenas, but you can just tell by looking at the interior how old this arena really looks. It's showing its age. And the exterior, while it is unique, I'll give it that, really doesn't make up for the lack of interior. So for me, the Rogers Arena comes in at number five on worst NHL arenas. Moving on to number four, it is the Canada Life Center located in Winnipeg, home of the Jets, originally opening back in 2004. So kind of a newer arena on this list. Why would this arena appear on a list of worst arenas if it opened in 2004. Well, this was before Winnipeg got a team and they didn't want to invest a ton of money on an arena, potentially not hosting an NHL team. So they kind of did one foot in, one foot out. They built an arena that has a capacity that could potentially host an NHL team, even though the capacity is only around 15K. It is the smallest arena in the NHL outside of Mullet Arena, but the interior is very bland. It's not built up very well. And now Winnipeg is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. They've got a relatively newer arena that was built in 2004, but it doesn't have all of the modern amenities. So do you build a new arena? Do you do a big renovation? We'll have to see. The exterior isn't anything terrible, but this is just a very bland arena that was really done just for the sake of having something that had the capacity to attract an NHL team. So it's going to come in at number four for me. Moving on to number three, it is Capital One Arena 
Located in Washington, D.C., originally opening in 1997. A lot of these arenas on this list opening in the mid to late 90s. And this is just a brutal arena now. It did go through renovation about seven years ago where they replaced all of the seats. That improved it slightly. But this hosts Georgetown basketball, it hosts the Washington Wizards as well, and it's always really low on my list. It doesn't even look like an arena from the exterior, they're trying to move out of it. There's the idea that maybe both the Capitals and the Wizards move to Northern Virginia because this arena is so bad and the idea of a renovation and dumping more money into it doesn't really make sense We'll see what ends up happening, but this is just not a good arena. The interior design with kind of the larger club section is completely obsolete, and it just quite frankly looks bad. It's very boring. It comes in at number three on worst arenas. The Capitals, I'm sure, would love to leave it. Moving on to number two, it is the Canadian Tire Center. Kind of a similar situation, home of the Ottawa Senators. The Senators have long tried to get a new arena. There's been several different renderings for new arenas. When it comes to the Canadian Tire Center, I don't mind the exterior color design. At least it's unique, but certainly the interior. You can understand why they're trying to leave this place. It is a relatively old arena opening in 1996, the capacity being just under 20K, and Ottawa is desperately trying to get a new arena. The interior, to me, looks like a worse version of Capital One Arena, smaller, more condensed, and it comes in at number two on worst arenas here in 2024. And then the number one worst arena in the NHL in 2024 it is the Emerit Bank Arena located in Surprise, Florida. This is the home to the Florida Panthers. It does have a capacity just under 20K, and it originally opened in 1998. When you look at this arena from an aerial shot, it, gener it genuinely looks abandoned. I am not kidding. It's located right next to a swamp region in Florida, which I think is cool. Anytime there's an arena located next to nothing, I find that to be very unique. But the problem is the arena itself is completely decrepit. The exterior is worse than NHL just from the roof and how bad it looks. And then the interior, I would also argue the seating design is also possibly worst in the NHL. There's really been no crazy improvements to this arena, which only adds to the idea that it is the worst arena in the NHL. The location, the exterior, the fact that the roof looks like a, it's completely abandoned, along with an obsolete interior design. It clearly needs new seats. I mean, at least Capital One Arena got new seats. This, this arena needs newer, fresher seats for sure. Just looking at it, you can tell that it's aged severely, but it is the worst arena in the NHL in 2024. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.